As most of us know, the United States is very worried about China's power. Last October, Biden banned export on semiconductor chips to China. Until now, China doesn't get its hands on one very important machine made by one company in the Netherlands, ASML. ASML is known for manufacturing a revolutionary machine where the whole world is relying upon. The company behind its setup is Advanced Semiconductors Materials Lithography. Hello, welcome everyone, and don't forget to subscribe. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, makes over 90% of the smallest and most sophisticated chips in the world. But they cannot make this chip without one small equipment. Yes, really, TSMC cannot make its chips without a machine that costs $150 million. This machine is made by ASML from the Netherlands. ASML's high-end equipment prints these tiny features that form the basis of the Taiwan Manufacturing Company's microchips. The semiconductor chips power everything from fridges to F-35 fighter jets. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company cannot make their chips without ASML, and that has kept the whole world engaged. ASML is clearly very important for our daily life. The assistant professor at Fletcher School at Tufts University, Chris Miller said, ASML has a monopoly on, on the fabrication of EUV lithography machines, the most advanced type of lithography equipment that is needed to make every single advanced processor chip that we use today. The machines that they produce, each one of them is among the most complicated devices ever made. Quite small and complex design microchips are made in large quantities through ASML, which generates extreme ultraviolet, severely short light wavelength, aka EUVs. The flattest surface in the world, according to ASML, is a unique Zeiss mirror from which it bounced. The light of EUV is created by molten tins, caused due to extreme speed along with the presence of tiny explosions. The minuscule designs confirming the function of every single chip are determined when the surface of the silicon wafer is met by a tiny percentage of the EUV light particles. The availability of products ranging from PlayStation 4 to cars has hiked up the demand for ASML's EUV technology during the scarcity of the global chip program. ASML has given a cutthroat competitive win to one of its tough competitors, Intel, where it has been seen that the stock price has spiked up to more than 340% starting from the end months of 2018. ASML became more valuable than it ever could, gaining the trust of the whole world for its function. For an upcoming couple of decades, Peter Winnick, the CEO of ASML, said that it'd keep on pushing down the prices of semiconductors as it had been since the past 38 years of its foundation. CNBC was told by Winnick that the world needed more chips than current availability, which threw light on the fact that more machines were needed to be manufactured. This would let the selling price grow on average until the cost per transistor could be driven down. Winnick describes the global chip shortage issue as a catch-22 for ASML. The company faces a lot of struggle for the delivery of chips, which further decreases the production of machines to make more chips. The modules are generally delivered late due to insufficient chips. It's a daily struggle to manage the ASML properly, Winnick explained. Around 140 EUV systems in the last decade have been sold by ASML, per price of which cost around $200 million. The next machine, which could be sold in the name of High NA, would cost $300. Chip manufacturer Global Foundries stopped working on highly advanced chips due to their severe cost. The issue of high cost had thrown out many competitors except TSMC, Samsung, and Intel. Miller expressed in one of his books about the challenges of ASML and how the world could rely on a machine by only one company. When the industry was getting ready to jump into the early stages of EUV research, none of the US firms were ready to take the plunge on what could be an expensive and risky proposition whereas ASML was. It is also a Dutch company that relies very heavily on US components in particular for its machines. EUV machines had nearly 800 global suppliers leaving China. Biden even pressed ASML to cut China off from this technology race. Though another business of refurbishing older lithography systems called DUV sent to most populated countries of the world is dealt with in China. This also gives rise to debates if China would surpass the competition of national semiconductor manufacturers. It is said that due to ASML's complex structure model and high technology, no other company can catch up with EUV, while Nikon of Japan is still a competitor. They are said to be providing unique supplies and have shown their mark worldwide by projecting 20% sales growth in 2022.